Hello dear coin collectors! In today's video we will have a look at, in my opinion, the most beautiful commemorative coin series of modern Denmark, depicting famous Danish scientists. On October 7, 2013, Danish National Bank issued a series of coins with scientific theories developed by Danish scientists as their common theme with the purpose to celebrate the centenary of the publication of Niels Bohr's atomic theory. On the obverse of all the coins is a portrait of the Queen Margaret II, designed by the sculptor Lise Noel. The portrait was created for the coins that marked Queen's 70th birthday in 2010. On the reverse side we can see the motives of the coins. Niels Bohr's atomic model, Hans Christian Orsted's experiment demonstrating electromagnetism, Ole Römer's diagram describing the speed of light, and Tycho Brahe's constellation Cassiopeia, accentuating the star Stella Nova. All the coins were issued in two versions. First 20 krona version is made of Nordic gold and was created for circulation so it has the same specifications as regular 20 krona coins. Mintage of these coins was 268 to 300,000 per coin, which is quite low for Danish circulating coins, and therefore, after a few years, it is already quite hard to find these coins in the circulation. The second 500 krona coin is non-circulating and is made of pure silver, it has weight of 31.1 gram or 1 ounce. These coins also were minted in quite low numbers, from 3500 coins to 3900 coins, and therefore are sold with quite a large markup these days. Let us look now at the coins individually. The first coin in the series depicts Niels Bohr and his atomic model. One of the most prominent Danish physicists, Niels Bohr made foundational contributions to understanding atomic structure and quantum theory, which resulted in development of Bohr atomic model in 1913. This model we can see on the coin. In 1920, Bohr founded the Institute of Theoretical Physics at the University of Copenhagen, now known as the Niels Bohr Institute. For his work, Bohr has received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1922. During the Second World War, Bohr was helping refugees from Nazism, and in 1943 he fled from Denmark himself, first to Sweden and then to the UK, where he joined British mission of the famous Manhattan Project that resulted in creation of the first nuclear weapon. The second coin of this series is dedicated to Hans Christian Ørsted, who in 1820 discovered that electric currents create magnetic fields, which was the first connection found between electricity and magnetism. On the coin we can observe a compass and an electric wire that helped Ørsted to conduct his experiments and discover magnetic fields. One more contribution of Hans Christian Orsted to world science is discovery of aluminium. On the third coin we can see Ole Römer's diagram, describing the speed of light that he was able to measure in 1675. Besides of this first measurement of the speed of light, Danish astronomer is famous for invention of the modern thermometer showing the temperature between two fixed points, namely the points at which water respectively boils and freezes. Also, Römer invented the first streetlights in Copenhagen, the meridian circle and the alt azimut. The last one of the four great scientists depicted on these coins is Tycho Brahe, Danish nobleman, astronomer and writer known for his accurate and comprehensive astronomical observations. As an astronomer, Tycho worked to combine what he saw as the geometrical benefits of the Copernican system with the philosophical benefits of the Ptolemaic system into his own model of the universe, the Tychonic system. His precise measurements indicated that new stars, 
also called Stella Nova, and now known as Supernova, in particular the one that was observed in 1572, were not tailless comets in the atmosphere as previously it was believed, but they were above atmosphere and beyond the moon. In addition to his many scientific discoveries, Tycho Brahe was famous during his life for wearing an artificial brass nose, which he had to put on after loss of his own nose in an unfortunate sword duel with his cousin. I hope you enjoyed looking at these beautiful coins and maybe even learned something interesting. You are very welcome to write questions or interesting facts about these four famous Danish scientists in the comment section below. Have a great day and take care. See you in my next video.